What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video. Texas is a place of a lot of, um, I guess, oil riggers and these guys have these trucks and they really fuck them up pretty good. Uh, a lot of dirt in these kind of things. This is one of the, this is going to be one of the vehicles that I totally going to recommend you tape this up because it has a lot of contaminants in there. You don't want to flush him, burn him, all that kind of stuff. Well, you can if you want to, but it's not really my cup of tea. What I'm going to show you is the simplest way to not burn, do this, get it wet, and still have a big chance of getting contaminants in there. I already pre-cut the pattern on the opposite side of the glass, so I, you know, I can show you how to deal with. People want to wash him, power wash this, wash inside, all kinds of stuff. I think my best, uh, what can you call it? My best theory here is that the less you disturb dirt, and just manage to work around it like a surgeon you know would do on a when he's making an operation he's only concentrated on the spleen or one or the other he's not rinsing the whole body they just cover the area you know like a doctor they cover the area you only work in this area we're gonna do the same thing so i already covered that on the side i'm gonna do this because it's just kind of filthy guys can look what's going on that way i have no contaminants on one or the other because you already know window film has static electricity when you peel it you know brings in debris so we'll do this and then just do that finish off this let's go to the inside and do our thing as you can see we cleaned it on the outside you can still see a bunch of stuff um, but at least I have a better chance of seeing what's going on on the inside whether it's clean or not so same scenario I'm gonna recommend you do scrubbing you already seen me in all the videos I use this I'm gonna use it at the end I believe there's still some snot and some stuff that is clean better by doing this and you, you know your film um, people talk about specs everywhere here this that we're gonna show you exactly where the specs are or are not in this installation um, I've always talked about delivery being 50% of your thing preparation of course it's very important but you can prep something so perfect and then drag film here touch a shit here touch this touch everything so then it won't matter how good you clean it because then it's still gonna get a lot of contaminants when you deliver it so that's it do that do this real quick do my thing brush all these contaminants to the floor to the bottom What's up and of course my I believe attribute highest success rate of install is to remove a very simple sweep where we removed it I don't know where it's at probably on the floor there and uh, yeah very filthy vehicle and that's about it man we're gonna go ahead and use our surgery rags that I highly highly recommend and then for you guys that use a uh, a sprayer I believe also spraying like psh, hits a lot of air and water and it's gonna splatter some shit from in there outside so you see me using a very controlled thing like this. Same thing there. So let's go ahead and do this first. Get this water out of the way like this. Okay. Now that it's clean everywhere, then I'd use my control water and assuming that there is something in there, it'll be running down. I'm also hitting the tape at the same time. So double whammy. And that's all you can do, you know, for, for dust particles you can't see, control your water here. So we got the water sticking on glass. Now we do this, of course. Plenty of juice. Or you can use your gun here, you know, it won't matter. Here's okay. You can do it faster if you like. And then of course we're gonna go ahead and do this deal. Drop it, apply it, and we should be pretty much over over. Start there. And of course it's always gonna be extra somewhere. So let's start sliding it down on one side and getting it even like this. Drag it on down and then once we're here then push it this way and, and push it back where it belongs and as I mentioned before use plenty of liquid this is a hand cut pattern right there on the edge 
get rid of the top thing like that anchor it okay I'm very confident it's anchored well okay uh, pretty much done all right and I'm gonna dry the top real quick that way I have nothing seeping down into my film a pass here a pass here and my friends we're pretty much done if you have a tool or a different way of doing it it'll be skinning the same cat just a different way okay now if you if you saw what went on right now you ought to know that there should be no contamination we're gonna check it right now okay looking at the sides here I know that the camera can't really but nothing very 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 clean Let's go ahead and verify it outside here. Okay. My man, there's just a white particle on the outside. There it is. These are white particles on the outside. Very, very, very clean. I hear I have the smallest little crease. I'm gonna go ahead and apply heat on the inside. And man, it is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And that's it, man. Very dirty truck. I didn't have to wash it. I didn't have to blow air. I didn't have to do anything. If you do a very controlled lay um, and do exactly like this, the flush very not. Psh, if you do with you know big old sprayer, it's gonna dislodge. Like I said, stuff from everywhere. You saw it, like right here, live on the tube. No edits, no thing. I, I I don't believe in edits. You know, either I'm gonna do good or I'll do another video. I want you to learn exactly from point A to point Z. And there it is, guys. Have a great day. GoPro, stop recording.